When I was at school, I hated drama. It was my idea of hell, standing up in front of the class and performing and acting. I would rather have been doing ops in Afghan than standing in front of a camera and having to speak. Just filmed the first YouTube video that I've done in ages. And what it's highlighted is how much this is a skill because I'm gonna let you into a secret. I fucking hated being in front of camera and making videos, which is ironic because this is 90% of what my now job is with The Natural Edge. Creating content to essentially bring clients in for coaching. When I started The Natural Edge in 2017, I'd not long left Special Forces a couple of years earlier. In the beginning, I couldn't even do videos. I started off with just photos on the Instagram. It took me a little while to even put a photo of myself on there, let alone speak to camera. Everyone, no matter who you are and what background you have, has things that they fear embarrass them that make them feel uncomfortable no matter what it looks like from the outside number two i've just wanted to let you know that i've launched my brand new vanguard operating system for business owners if you want to break free of survival mode control the chaos reclaim your true self and enjoy the life you've worked so hard for just follow the link in the description all of those things that you do fear, whatever you fear, you can change that. You can build the skills and the confidence to overcome it, but it takes time and it takes practice. Number three, it's through these things that you are gonna learn more about yourself than anything else. It's in discomfort, it's in challenge that you are gonna develop as a person. Think about anything you've ever achieved in your life, anything that's felt worthwhile and significant and satisfying and fulfilling, I guarantee you had to overcome difficulty. And through that, you learn more about yourself than anything else. There's a reason when you're in basic training for the military that you get made to do shit things like polishing pipes in the bathrooms at 3 a.m. in the morning for an inspection at 5 a.m. It's through those really shit times that you bond as a troop. It's the foundation of soldiering. And so it's a really key part of that process. And it's no different in your life. Stepping outside of your comfort zone into that stretch zone where you feel that discomfort and you feel uncomfortable is so, so important. And the more you can do it, the more you'll benefit from it. It took two years to get vaguely comfortable doing stuff in front of the camera. It took another two years to get comfortable doing it. It took another year getting vaguely competent and I'm now in that process of hopefully getting better at it but it's still like this is just the beginning of the journey it's only through repetition of doing it over and over again and having a very good reason of why I'm doing it that I've been able to get to where I am now with it which is vaguely competent so what you can take away from this if you want to take something away identify that one thing that makes you feel uncomfortable that causes discomfort for you and that is actually something you want to improve and find a small way a small step that you can take towards that discomfort to start practicing that skill and then repeat it it's all about the reps you need to put the reps in if you want to get the results